Best of Health, presented by Clarion Health, Methodist, IU, and Riley Hospitals. This week, Dr. K. Donald Shelbourne will be answering questions concerning ACL injuries, starting with, what is the ACL? ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament, and everybody has probably heard of ACL, but they don't really know exactly what it is until they have one, but it's the major ligament that controls rotational stability in a, in a knee. So that's why it's a devastating problem for an athlete to have. How can someone know if they tore their ACL? People say they hear a pop, they feel like their knee came apart, they fall down, think they had a major injury, the game gets stopped, they stay on the ground for a while, when they get up they, their knee feels wobbly, uh, they're reluctant to put their foot down, they walk with their knee bent. If somebody has that type of a history and then we see them walk into the clinic or even give us that history over the phone, we're pretty suspicious they may have an ACL tear. Are bigger and stronger athletes less likely to have ACL injuries? Uh, unfortunately, in the past, we used to think that being bigger and stronger was actually safer because you would be s stronger and able to resist injury, and it's actually the opposite. The bigger and stronger and faster you are, the more likely you are to get hurt if you have an un untimed landing or a mistimed landing or an accident. What steps must be taken prior to ACL surgery? We have uh, three things that have to be done before surgery. One, we have to get the patient's knee ready for surgery. That is, get the swelling down, get the motion back completely uh, to eliminate the stiffness and the swelling. Have to get the patient mentally ready for surgery. Uh, all of our research has indicated that the better condition the knee is in prior to surgery, the more likely you are to have a successful outcome. So we purposely delay the surgery to give us the best chance of getting a good result. What takes place in ACL reconstruction? Uh, the ACL reconstruction actually is a uh, transplant of a grafted ligament from another part of the body. Uh, we tend to use the patellar tendon graft. It's the strongest, largest uh, tendon used for ACL reconstructions. It has about a 99% success rate as far as the stability. How soon could a patient return to athletics after ACL reconstruction? Getting back to sports is a six or eight week time period, but that's not, not at a high level. Being fully competitive at your old level is about six months. What factors should someone consider when considering where to go for care? Uh, our clinic, we do about 300 ACL tears a year and we've done about 5,000 over the years. Most people that are busy might do 30 to 40 ACL tears in a year and some places actually do up to 100. Uh, I know our research and our data, uh, as far as I know, is the best of anywhere in the country. For more information about the Shelbourne Clinic, call 317-924-8636 or visit aclmd.com. For more information on this or other health topics, visit clarion.org or call 1-800-265-3220.